know, that's, that's scary because, you know, you don't get right out of here every day. They do. Man. That's why I don't like being outside like that. I mean, I did it for, I camped out for like two, two and a half years, but I was still scared every night when it's hard for me to go to sleep because you never know when some big old burly man's going to walk up and you know, find out you're alone and then try to rape you. selling your art and that's what and I was like you would not believe that's always been my dream and that's what my dream is so I'm starting out with this and hopefully I'll get discovered one day yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and that's what I'm hoping for I want it's not that I have so much want prestige or a name like that I want to leave a legacy of what's mine behind and I've sold probably now I've probably sold over 2,000 paintings already uh, what inspires you to paint God I mean, I know that sounds crazy, but I'll, I like to have visions or dreams about paintings and I'll have to wake up and paint them. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. You gotta see this one I'm working on. It's gonna be pretty, it's pretty big one. It's like, probably about that long, about that tall. Okay. Of the Armageddon. I gotta see it. You know, I gotta uh, see it. I'm not the one that, I'm 
I'm not the one painting this. I'm telling you, it's from God because that's him. he uses me. To, he's trying to get his messages out. That's like me and you talking. The voice is the same. He said, "You didn't know me then." Oh wow! It was God in that camera movie. That's crazy, but I know he's real. That's how people that story they they don't believe me most of the time, but it's so real. I, I, you can't make some shit like that up. Came, came, you know? Yeah. And he, he was right. I didn't know him then. That's why I know he is in my life, in my heart, and he's he on this earth. You know, we not, not think God is all up in heaven, but he's here. He is here. There's just so many people don't know him. You know, and that's sad. It's sad but I realized I really did know him. When he, when he spoke those words to me, I was like, oh my God, I just hit my knees. I'm like, I want to know you. You know, and ever since then, he's been blessing so, me. You know? So how do you keep your faith in God and, and then also, like, face everyday situations? I don't know. It's just, ever since... I realize that I do know him, yeah. and I want to know more of him. You can't break my faith. I don't care how bad it gets out here. I know he's still carrying me all the way, even when it's the worst of my times. I'm not doing this. He is. I wouldn't be here today if he wasn't. I mean, he will, you know? And I know that a lot of people don't believe in him, or they just believe in the Bible, but they don't really know he is really real in their life. People need to wake up and realize they might not see him, feel him, touch him, or even hear him. But if you really open up your faith and your, and your, your eyes and your heart and listen, and you have to really listen, you can hear his voice. It's plain as day. But you gotta have, you got to know him to be able to hear that voice. Yeah. You know? That's good. I have felt his arms wrap around me when I'm at my lowest. And it's like this big, huge set of gorilla arms wrapping around you and, and you feel all this warmth. And it's weird, but I can feel that when I'm at my lowest point in my life where I'm just ready to take this route. I'm done. You know, I give up. That's when I feel him. That's right. That's right. The home is where you make it. My home's got to be in the back of that truck for a while. That's what I'll do. Wow. I get blessed with a lot. The people that come by, by, and by my art, that's a blessing to me because when they buy it, or anything they can comment on it, but they can't afford to buy it, and I give it, give it to them. That's a blessing to me, because it makes me feel good that I'm doing God's work, and I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm living my dream. You know, even though I'm still homeless, I'm trying to save up the money to get my own place, but, or get me a truck either way. I mean, I just, I know it'll come. It'll come. Yeah, I'm believing you know? for you, too. That's cool. That's where I'm at right now. That's cool.